And uh, it's a great honor indeed for me to meet you and especially to address professors and students. I will have a few words about that and uh, I think it's important to talk about education. Uh, it is especially important to me because my own education has been so poor that at the end of it, they decided to dump me into diplomacy, which was at the very bottom line of uh, every possible choice. So you will have to do better than that and to improve your skills. Uh, thank you for giving the names, Mr. Rector, of two very good friends of mine, people very dear to my heart, Bernard Kouchner and Alain Leroy, both of them visited Peya in their times here, and both of them have been very critical in drawing the attention of people in my country and in general in the world to what happened in Kosovo and to what had to be done in favor of Kosovo. Today we are a few dozens of us here this could have been impossible 13 years ago. And this could have been impossible because of the wounds of the war, because of the dividing lines between people, because, because of the fact that it was a no future time for people of your age in these years. This is over. And this is my first message. Thanks to the help of your international friends. Thanks to yourself, your families. Here you are, studying in a normal atmosphere, European or Euro-Atlantic atmosphere, as my fellow citizens in France. This is only 13 years after. So it has been a very strong recovery. And you young people now are the future of this country. This would have been unthinkable 13 years ago. And you are living your lives, studying your studies in your own country, feeling safe, feeling protected, and feeling your own identity as it has to be. And this is a big step forward for you, for the European continent in general, and the European family. And this has not to be forgotten. This is a parallel story with what happened in my country in the 50s and the 60s with Germany. We had a very bad story together, together in a way of speaking, and now we are together. A few years after the war, school started again, university, and then, yes, the two countries started to talk to each other, to feel safe with each other, to send students to each other's universities. So I'm glad to have you here because you are the future of your country. My own country invested in Kosovo quite a lot, as you said, rightly. And it invested in Kosovo not because of a strategic thinking, not because of our own interest at home, but because of two very simple things. The first one is human rights. You don't kill people. You don't threaten people. You don't kick people out of the houses, villages, towns. This is normal. Something has to be stopped at some point, and it has been stopped, thanks God. And this was normal human feeling. Because even in politics sometimes, human feelings matter. The second thing is that you are part of the same story as the French, the Brits, the German, the American, Italians, whatever, Euro-Atlantic family. This is a complicated story, as you know, with many obstacles, with many difficulties to be overcome, but you are part of the family. And we have to be with you. We have to support in every possible respect what is happening in Kosovo, because what is happening in Kosovo is also what is happening in my own country in many respects. And we cannot afford 
something to happen here that could happen in our country. There is no possible way of thinking that, oh, this is a far remote land, this is a different civilization. No, this is home. And this is my second message. You are home and you are family. And you may have a lot, a lot of difficulties to overcome in your day-to-day -day life. And I know that. You may see sometimes the future as more complicated for you than it is for my fellow citizen in France. You may be right in that. And you may have questions. But the very deep truth is that you are family, you are home, and you belong to the same thing as I belong. Third thing, and I will be a bit short, and cut me if you want. The third thing is that education matters. This is a young country in many different respects. It is a young country. It has been independent since 2008 only. It was born out of many difficulties, which makes it even younger in many respects. But this is also a young country because of the fact that this country is full of many young people like yourself, like your brothers and sisters, younger than you sometimes. The fact is that Kosovo is the youngest population on the whole continent of Europe, the youngest population. Wherever you go in Europe, you have no other place that can be compared with Kosovo when you look at the number of people, let's say, under 25 in general. So this is a young country with a lot of young guys and girls. You have a future here or on the continent. And you need to be educated, trained. You need to have skills. You need to have the possibility to fight your way in life in Kosovo, in Bea, or in Europe, or elsewhere if you want. And this is important. Because education is not only one part of civilization. It is the very bedrock of civilization. Without educating the young people, you are not going forward. And you are not looking forward. The very idea of progress, of something that is better now than it used to be 10 years ago, and that maybe will be better in 10 years than it is now, is based on the fact that the young people, as you all are, are given a good education in whatever skills you want to develop. I know this is a social science university. But education is also about giving the people the possibility to work as professors, as students. University means that. A universe of people being together, sharing, partaking, having the same ideas or not the same ideas, having debates, and trying to be just better than when they are alone. The very <coughs> idea of university, the very word, in fact, of university comes from that. You are a universe. And these might well be the best years of your life, because you are among yourselves with your professors. You are trained. You are every day getting more information, more education, and you are sharing this with yourselves. My country in Kosovo has been present, as you said, Mr. Rector, in many different capacities. The first, and maybe the most important, has been the military one. And we are still present in Kosovo with a now rather small military force, but still here still being able to help the people of Kosovo to go on with their lives. It has also been present in a more civilian capacity, which is the European Rule of Law Mission, ULEX. It has also been present through the embassy. The embassy is only the third capacity, if I may say so, especially if you look at money or the number of people, of course. But my embassy wants to support 
at least politically, every possible effort that is made to make the life of the people more secure, better, and richer. I mean, richer not only in terms of money, but that too, but also richer in terms of developing your capacities <coughs> and making your life more beautiful, more open, more hopeful. This embassy is a very poor embassy. What we are trying to do with the very limited resources and means we are given is to offer the people of Kosovo a few cultural events every year, a little education in French, if we can, and to go to the main places of Kosovo, of which Peya is one, of course, and to open small places where people can come, can have debates, a coffee, read papers, speak French or not French, another language, Albanian, <laughs> whatever, and to have a debating place, and to help these kind of places like this university, just to support it, and just to add some small French corner, which will be a sort of free room where people can come and speak their minds and discuss and exchange and open a window on something else. That was the spirit we had in the month of March, during the month of March, uh, which is called the Francophonie, which is a French-speaking fair. It lasted one month all over Kosovo with many different kind of events, circus, movies, comics, whatever, books, speeches, music, of course. It's not only about language, it's not only about culture, and certainly not only about French culture alone. But it's about the fact that you need windows. You deserve that as young people or as professors sometimes. You need support and you need to know that people care about you. But you are part of a bigger story, as I am part of a bigger story. I'm French, but I'm European too. And when my president and my ministers are fighting their way to as you know perfectly because you are studying economics, to save, to save the currency, it's not alone. It's not France alone fighting its corner. It's about 20 or 30 countries fighting for the continent. So you need to know that people will help you and that you will help these people in turn in a few years. You will be part of helping. And that Europe is not about money only, is not about passports only, though it is also that. Europe is also about cultural links that people built within, within the universities, within the boundaries of the continent and abroad. So that was my message, basically. I don't want to take your time. I don't want to lecture you on European values or on why the French do support European values. My very simple message is that if these values do not exist in the field, if we don't do our utmost to implement these values with the very limited means we have, <coughs> values are nothing but words. And words are nothing after a while. So we need to implement these values in PR as we do in Pristina, as we do in Mitrovica, as we will do soon, hopefully, in Gilan and other parts of Kosovo, and to bring some small, small support to what you are doing. And I would like to thank you for being here. I'm totally open to any questions, and I am waiting for your questions, and also, not only for your questions, but from a lot of information that you will be able to give me. Because basically, the reason I'm here is not to lecture you on whatever, but to answer your questions and to get some information from you. That's what I'm most interested in. So thank you very much. <laughs>